today. It's going to be so awesome. What I'm doing is I just went in and I painted my um, my baby tip black and then I put a coat of this ruby ruby pumps on top of it. Ooh, so that's the pinky. On my second nail, I have this Essie Red, and I also used a clear nail for um, my, my ring finger. And I went in with this Essie Red. I'm just doing a second coat now to make it a little bit darker. And this one is Bordeaux. So I just want to have that really nice and dark. So that's going to be on the ring finger. So here's my pinky that's black. What I actually did is I went in with the Bordeaux first, just to give it that little bit of red in the background, just a little bit of red. When that dries a little bit, then I'm going to go in with the ruby slippers. Now, those are the only ones I'm going to have sparkly though. So, I really want these ones to be opaque, but I need them to be red. So, I think instead of black, I think I'm actually going to paint them white. Where's the white? Let me grab my white. I had it. I had it there. I lost it. Here's the dollar. Okay, so I really want these to be white so that I get that nice red. And plus, I want to make sure they don't go as opaque, or sorry, so I want them to be more opaque than the ring finger. And because, let me kind of carry that. And because I have one um, of these nails that's not... Uh, full color because I ran out of the full color ones. I'm just going to make sure that gets done too. So the rest will all be matchy matchy and won't won't not work together. So that's why. But I did want the ring fingers to be the the clear, so I could get that jelly like appearance for the ring finger because that's a special nail and then my pinkies I want it to be the sparkly I've got a big huge long hair here just drive me bananas don't know where I get all this hair from maybe it's because I have dogs maybe maybe So, get that in the lamp. So, I'll finish these two. Once I get these white and I put my uh, Bordeaux on from Essie, I will come back. I'll let everything dry and I'll come back and we'll move on to the next step. Be right back. Okay, I am back. My tips are all ready. I've put a top coat on all of them. I put a shiny top coat on to first first and I want to get an image off this plate I have this 105 this is by Mayu London 05 and it's got this these two really cool crosses so okay I did my scraper there it is I would like to take those and put them on a couple. Ooh, fancy, fancy goth. You're going to love fancy goth. Come on out. Yay, it came out. <clears throat> okay, I want to do another one of those for the other side. Okay. 
Okay. Oh, so pretty. I love those crosses. I think today is going to be goth day. Do some goth stuff. Now, I think I'm going to hold off on that plate for a minute. There is a little... On this plate, I have... It's I Love Nail Art SB023. I'm just going to clean this off. I don't know how clean it is. <clears throat> There's a little skull here. Okay, I'm just going to... Hold on, I'll be... Okay, sorry about that. My phone was ringing, so I just wanted to make sure I was waiting for a phone call, so... Okay, so let's get this little skull off of here. We're going to put that little skull right on... This finger, the index finger. We're going to do it again for the other side. Okay. Perfect. All right. Now, thumb. I kind of wanted to do something different on the thumb. I have this bigger plate here. This is DP08. This is Dixie Plates. I really like this. I don't know if it's supposed to be a rose or a flower or whatever it's supposed to be. I'm going to try. I hope I got enough polish there. I'm going to try to take this one. Looks like. And I'm going to put it right here at the bottom. There's a reason why I'm not filling the whole thing. I'm going to do the top with black. A little bit of sponge on some black on the top. So. So I want to do it again for the other one. Okay. And then there's that one. Perfect. I really like that. Now, this one I want to leave clear. This is my ring finger and of course we have the sparkle on our pinky the pinky I top coated I am not going to flat matte that one that's probably going to be the only one that one and this one is not going to be flat matted the rest will be flat matte now what I would like to do <clears throat> now I'm done with my stamping for the moment what I'd like to do is get a little bit of black paint. Oh, where's my black paint? There it is. I take a little bit of black paint, put it on my palette. Way too much. I always take too much. Always. And put some water on there. Not much. I'm just gonna get my little stir sticky thing here. Gonna mix it around a little. And I'm gonna get some sponge. Where's my nope? Oh, I don't have any. There. I always take one of these little sponges. Oops. Now at this point you could top coat, but since I'm going to be doing um, matte top coat, I don't want to put too much on. So I just want to take a little bit of this black, and I think on the on the thumb here, I'm going to lightly put sponge a little bit of black on. to the tip. And 
It's not that I could probably paint it on just as well, but kind of like the spongy effect because it kind of makes it a little bit more not opaque. Now, I think I'll put a little bit of black here on the bottom. a little bit there and a little bit here now I think I might leave this one full should I or shouldn't I I really like that just the way it is I think I'm just gonna leave as is now I think it looks pretty good I don't want to do too much because once you mat it, it's going to be really nice. Now at this point, I'm going to top coat it. Once it's dry, I'm going to top coat. So most of these are already top coated, except everything with a, an image on. So I'm going to go ahead and top coat those in a regular top coat. Then I'm going to go in and mat it. If I do the mat right now, it's not going to be as strong. And because we do have an image on there, sometimes matting can actually take some of the image off or make it run so I always like to go over with if I can a regular top coat then I'll mat now if you really wanted to this is such a pretty set you probably could leave it shiny And because I got some that are going to be staying shiny, I could actually, well, I could leave them shiny. I am doing another set that's going to be matte, so I could do that too. Oh, I pulled it down a bit. This one wasn't quite dry enough. So you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to pull it back a bit. Look at that, and it worked. Wow, I can't believe that worked. I'm going to go ahead and cure those while I'm working on these. I'm going to let that one dry a little bit more. Maybe I will leave these ones shiny. What do you think, guys? Should I leave these shiny? They're so pretty. I love that red. I wanted to see what this red looked like in matte. But... We actually think about it. I have two that are staying shiny. Maybe it might be better just to keep the whole thing shiny. Hmm, maybe I will. Maybe I'll just keep them shiny. I was gonna do matte, but you know what? Maybe I will just keep this set shiny. I have another red set that we're gonna be working on. It's not the same red, but I don't know, I'm looking at it, and it's just so beautiful with the red. Now, looking at it, I think I might even give these ones another top coat if I'm going to do that. So, I think that's what I'll do. So I'll add another top coat to just these ones that have the stamping on it, just to make sure there's no... Uh, ridges or bad spots because when you're doing red like this you want it to be like a perfect you want it to be really perfect you want that shine to be so glossy and nice and if there's any imperfections it will show so bad but if you do two you're usually safe from that happening Plus, the strength will help us because it's going to be a press on, right? Perfect. Oh, I think I will keep it shiny. You know what? I think I will because looking at it, it they're just so beautiful. I'm going to keep these ones shiny and I'll do the next set in, um, in matte. I don't have to do them all matte. Plus, I'm really low on matte polish, so or matte uh, top coat. I don't put in my order for another couple of weeks, so. 
uh, I have to deal with what I've got for right now. And the mat I do have is not as matte as I'd like it, so. There's a certain brand I like. But I must be good. So I'll do the second coat on these. Just to make sure everything is really perfect. I really like them actually. I think that's pretty good. So okay, I'm going to get these out of the lamp, finish um, top coating these, and I will get you some reveal shots. Very easy, nice set, very gothy. Uh, Halloween is my absolute favorite time of year. So you'll notice I'll do some goth all the time because I love it. So to me, Halloween is all year long. I'm a witchy girl. If I, I swear I was a witch in another life. A good one, a Wiccan, but I'm pretty sure I was a witch in another life. Okay, I'm gonna sit here and enjoy some of my Starbucks while I got it, and I will finish this off, and I will get you some shots, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye. And here are the finished nails. I love this set, it turned out so wonderful. Love that red. Oh, can't wait to wear that one. Okay, I'll take some shots, and I will see you next time.